Have you ever tried the Bring Sally Up challenge? It's all based around a song that's super repetitive. It goes Bring Sally Up, bring Sally down and that's all it is. That can basically guide you through a workout or exercise. This is a bodyweight exercise so you don't have to be massive to be able to do it. You need to be able to carry your own weight and withstand the buildup of lactic acid. It's really about conditioning your triceps, shoulders and your pecs, getting used to that motion and being able to push through that mental barrier as well. There is a point where you do think okay I can't do any more but you can. You just have to keep going. So to give you some background on my history with this, it was last summer, I was with a group of lads, good friends, my brothers, and one of them suggested, okay, why don't we just try the Bring Sally Up challenge? I don't think any of us had done it before. We all underestimated it a little bit, especially myself. I was quietly confident that I could, well, definitely beat the lads, but also complete it. Uh... <laughs> it didn't quite turn out that way. So we started off and around the one minute mark, I started to feel this build up in my arms, this build up of lactic acid. And I just, I was really struggling to push. And I was thinking, if I'm feeling this way, the other lads are gonna be dropping off pretty soon. Two of them eventually did. I think it was just past the one minute, maybe one minute 30 mark. But at this point it felt like I couldn't go much further. I did what I could and we got past the two minute mark, like maybe two minutes, 10 seconds, and that was it. My arms just gave out. I couldn't push myself back up. The other lads then continued and Pierrot, who's like a brother to me, managed to win the challenge. Maybe it was 2 minutes 45 or 2 minutes 50. Either way, for a first attempt, that is solid. So after that disappointment, I made a mental note of it and I thought, one day I'm going to come back, I'm going to practice this and I'm going to manage the full 3 minutes 24 seconds. Welcome to day one of my progression. Three days later I was still aching from the first day of training, but I was ready to give it another go. Not only did I not make any progress, I went backwards and I was still a long way away from the full 3 minutes, 24 seconds. I was a bit annoyed and I started to question whether I'd get anywhere near the end of the song. After having gone backwards in day 2, I gave myself a few days of rest, and so by the time it got to day 3 of training, I felt much fresher and ready to give it a better shot. Something I find useful is varying the type of push-up you do during the Sally Up challenge. So you can interchange between your focus on the pecs and then the triceps. With a wider stance, your pecs will feel more pressure and with a narrower stance, your triceps will be doing more work. It's about finding the balance that works best for you. Some people will have massive triceps and so can focus on those a bit more. I don't, so I try to focus more on the pecs. But I do change up the type of push-up as a way of trying to give certain muscle groups some rest. I had just managed my best time so far and was feeling a lot better about the whole challenge. I think it was the first time I thought to myself, I could actually do this. Whilst in the middle of the challenge, I'd often come up with excuses in my head to try and get out of doing it. I'd think to myself, why don't I just quit now, I can't be bothered, I'm too tired, tomorrow will be a better day. And it would only really be at the two minute mark where I'd realise, okay I'm getting somewhere, that I would then force myself to continue and go through until failure. <sighs> Thank you. 
One thing to bear in mind is that I'm not just doing the sally up for a training session. Once I've done the sally up to fail, I then try and do other exercises and really work the pecs, the push-up form. Of course, if you don't have any gym equipment, then you can vary up your push-up styles. Maybe you could grab yourself a backpack and stick some books in there to give you that extra resistance. The important thing is really testing your muscles and pushing them to the end. Any increase I could make on my time, no matter how big or small, would really motivate me because I knew that the next time round I could push it that extra bit further. My conditioning and endurance were increasing, but I still needed to breach the three minute mark. I missed it by about 10 seconds. I let my muscles rest and give it maybe a couple of days, see how I feel and then go for it again. It's close. 